tuna has become the victim of its own success. Demand for bluefin tuna in particular has been sharply increasing in recent times, in part because of the popularity of Japanese cuisine. The supply, however, is no longer able to keep up. Overfishing threatens to diminish it even further. An agreement reached at a recent international conference will regulate the catch of wild bluefin tuna in the Pacific. Those who signed on hope it isn't too late. Well, if anyone should be concerned about the supply, it's the Japanese. They consume about 70% of the world's Pacific bluefin tuna. A Japanese university has come up with a way of taking pressure off the fish at sea by breeding bluefins from fertilized eggs raised on farms. Customers have been flowing into this new restaurant ever since it opened a month ago. They're all waiting in line for a completely new culinary experience. The main part of the menu here is bluefin tuna, but not just any bluefin tuna, it's all farm bread. And, well, the taste doesn't taste any different from a fresh catch from the sea. It's easy to eat and tastes good. The Toro Fatty tuna is comparable to that at the famous Tsukiji fish market. The restaurant is run by Kinki University as a way of finding out if consumers will take a liking to the farm-raised fish. The tuna on the menu was born and raised at the school's experimental farm in Wakayama Prefecture. Since 1970, its fisheries lab has been working to farm raise tuna without using wild stock. A fish of this size is about three months old. Tokihiko Okada heads the institution. He's been involved in the research since his undergraduate days. Methods to breed sea bream and yellowtail had already been established when he joined the project. Tuna was more difficult. The fish are especially sensitive. A tuna would react to even subtle noises or light and head to its demise in the nets of a pen. Okada and his fellow researchers succeeded in avoiding that outcome by almost doubling the size of the pen and changing the shape from cuboid to cylindrical. After 32 years, the team finally succeeded in farm breeding tuna from fertilized eggs to full-grown fish in 2002. The next goals were bringing down costs and developing feed to create a better consistency. Tuna swim vigorously and typically consume large amounts of fish such as horse mackerel and mackerel. But using fish for feed is costly. Mixed feed offers an alternative. The researchers tried various combinations of vitamins and fish meals. They had a hard time getting tuna to accept that way of eating at first. If something other than the taste of the feed, such as color or shape, can whet a tuna's appetite, we may be able to come up with a solution. A period of three to five years usually is necessary for a tuna to become an adult that can be shipped. Tuna on the farm are bred on the mixed feed until they reach the age of three months. The researchers are investigating how to extend the use of the mixed feed by trying alternative contents. So far, the longest they've been able to nourish a fish with only this has been three years. Another avenue for boosting production could be genetic analysis. Last year, the team identified a gene of the bluefin tuna that can accelerate growth. Later this year, they plan to select individual tuna that have the gene and start breeding them on the farm. The university is inviting private firms to participate as a way of expanding production. The school itself is overseeing the hatching of bluefin tuna eggs. The larvae grow into fry and are sold to a wholesale breeder outside the school. The breeder keeps the fry for about three months. 
When the younglings grow to about 30 centimeters, they're sold to tuna farmers. When they reach adulthood, the fish are ready to go to market. The company that deals with younglings has a facility in Nagasaki Prefecture. Taizo Fukuda is now in the fourth year of raising fry. He says the survival rate has increased, but it's still below 50 percent. The fish have only two ways of showing their condition, vigorously eating or silently dying. I tell breeders to watch the fish constantly. Each fish is sending a particular message without exception. We have to train people to read the signals. 7,000 of the university-born tuna are shipped to market annually. Within two years, the institution intends to further develop its technology with support from the government. That should allow it to eventually increase the number of farm-bred fish to 100,000 per year. To that end, it's set up a wholly owned firm that promotes everything from research all the way to the sale of farm-bred tuna. What would you think about starting a farm in Malaysia? Overseas production is under consideration to ensure a steady supply through the use of diverse locales. I hope to create alliances with major businesses and expand the number of farms. I hope our tuna farming will spread across the globe. From farms to kitchens, if the university project can succeed, it will earn the appreciation of diners around the world and, in their own way, perhaps even the thanks of the tuna population at sea.